they're gonna go after Lutz. <gasps> oh no! Lutz, are you okay? What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Super Fina. Today, we are reacting to Ascendance of a Bookworm. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so be key, notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to A Sentence of a Bookworm, episode 27. The beginning of winter. I think this is important because they just made, started to harvest the, that plant to make the paper, right? Ooh, she's replenishing the artifact. Now she's not overflowing with mana. Oh, they're prepping for it. What kind of work? The blizzard. I wonder when we're gonna see the blizzard. Is the blizzard gonna be something like catastrophic? Catalytic? You weren't playing to sell them? Oh, she has to get the high quality stuff to match up with the people at the temple. Oh, he wanted to buy that. He wanted to buy the first book. See, so he bought the rights to that book and he's going to sell it. Huh? Huh? Is that what's happening? <laughs> At a reasonable price. Oh, she's already thinking about business. Don't say anything. <laughs> Commercial spirit. <laughs> The seasonal gods and their kindred spirit. I wonder if that's gonna set the season. <laughs> Young lady from Gilberta Company? Who's that? He has such bright hair! Oh, 
Oh, he's begging her. Why? What you gonna make? Oh, but that's very unusual to get a patron. Normally you don't beg. Normally you try to like sell it up, right? How come they don't like your work? Oh, you take too long because you're a perfectionist. <laughs> he analyzed everything! Whoa. He is particular about the finer details, huh? Oh, she's the only one who said that! <laughs> oh, that's why he's trying to latch on to her. The only person who can understand him. Oh. Oh, we hit a wall. Can't help it. She's underage. She's a minor. She's like, I'm sorry. I'm limited. Oh, he's like, what are you plotting? Is it for wind? Oh, look at that grin! She has that grin where she's like, I'm gonna benefit from this. <laughs> it deals with book, doesn't it? Metal letter types? Like a typewriter? Yes, give us the long explanation. Yes. Oh, the letter press. They're doing the screening kind, yeah? Oh. Okay, okay. Super ultra miracle. <laughs> <laughs> if you think you can't keep up with my crazy ideas <laughs> Mm, are you ready? Can you handle this? Can you handle her being your patron? Huh? Huh? Oh, he's taking up the challenge. Good job. Oh, now beg to Benno. Beg, beg, go on your hands and knees. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> the master is single. <laughs> they fight like their father and daughter. <sighs> they banter like their equals. <laughs> Oh, mommy is pregnant. It's going to be a little brother, right? Aw, the dad just wanted to hear that. He wants to be doted on. Yeah, he's not going to be able to see her. She's going to be away for winter. Oh. Remember when the dad got jealous that she wasn't asking him to help out? <laughs> She's like, make me a needle or a pin. I think it was for her hairpin, right? Oh ho ho! He's like, yeah, I want to buy this. These guys are so gruff. You guys are looking for ink. Ink is ink. There's only one kind. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Other kinds of ink. Killed. Sell the way to make the ink. Sell it for a high price. Unless they get really rough and underhanded, then that's another story. They seem such gruff guys. How's the tea? Oh. This is like good cop, bad cop. A guest from the Ink Guild is here! Oh, there's terrible rumors about him? Oh dear. Fitted for new ceremonial robes. Oh, is she pregnant too? What gender is her baby gonna be? Oh, she doesn't like to be nagged. She wants her space. He's crowding her. <laughs> they sewed! They sewed how to make the ink! Ho 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 ho. Oh, but Lutz got followed, didn't he? Oh, 
Oh dear. Mm. Oh. Are they gonna go after Lutz? <gasps> oh no! Lutz, are you okay? Are they gonna rough you up? Oh no, I hope not. Are you gonna be okay, Lutz? Leave him alone. Oh no. Yes, yeah, loot's okay. Ah, oh, darn. Now she's going to be extra protected. Mm-hmm. Unnatural. Yeah, what do they want? They already got the rights on making the ink, right? Ah, uh, even more reason why she needs to stay at the temple, huh? Darn it! Her time with her family has been cut short, all because of the Ink Guild! Ugh. I bet she's gonna be really mad at them. I wonder if this is going to, uh, speed up her being adopted by a noble. Right? Because that was talked about last season. If she's a noble, no one can touch her. Right? Well, she can, you know, bothered and whatnot, but still. Yeah, she can't really cut ties, you know, she's still in like a uh, unsteady position. I mean, she cut ties, she might get targeted, right? Oh dear. Yeah, tell the head priest everything! I like seeing this strong connection with her and her family. Yes, we would be very grateful if you would allow this. Mmm, we got a snitch in the background over there. Mm-hmm. He's just walking around trying to hear for important things to relay back. Mm-hmm. We saw that sneaky glance. I hope her family's okay. Even though mine's surrounded by people who care for her, feel responsible for her, it's just not the same as family. Look at that! She's all by herself in this big bed while wow, she's so familiar with being next to family, feeling their body heat. Yeah, you go protect my mm-hmm. Nobility can piss off.
Oh, who's that? Underhanded means. Oh, that is so cute. They made like little wooden figures of mine and her family. Next chapter, the story about winter stays and the future. <laughs> we have to count our prayer. You are being so specific about what is called a book. <laughs> I like the way he like turns his head. It was like a <laughs> She's like pursing her lips. I like that last thing where it was the artwork from the novels. Wasn't that the artwork from the novels? And I have a slight suspicion in the opening they had some of the same artwork. Right? Am I right? If you think I'm wrong, point it out. Let me know. Tell me that I'm trying to look into it. <laughs> but besides that, I'm so glad that they kept the theme of world building with this series. I'm pretty sure it's following the novels, but that's what's so great about this story. You know, at first you're just thinking, yes, mine. She wants to make books. And she's like, okay, you need money to make books. Okay, how is she going to make money? And then she just encounters all of these hurdles that she needs to jump over. And she overcomes it, but she has to use her resources around her, the people around her. And then uh, there's also, you know, social stuff, cultural stuff, so much world building to the point where her superior wants her to get adopted by a noble, right? You guys remember that from the last season, right? Right. And then uh, in the opening, not the opening, more like trailers, sneak peeks you know, about this character with blue hair who looks like he's more like a fighter you know he's going to protect her i'm excited to see that guy but i'm like where did you come from where you been how come we haven't seen you yet huh 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 and now with some more world building they brought the ink guild okay ink ink created this opening for world building all right that's how good this story is I'm just saying. If you think otherwise, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this episode. What do you think the season's going to be like? If you read the story already, let me know what you think is going to happen. Like, the... I want to say the flow. We're going to get to point A, B, C, D. And we're going to end up in G... F? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how far they're going to go with this. Because there's just so much. Man, like, we're still at one area. I'm thinking we're going to encounter other kingdoms, civilizations, countries. I don't know. I feel like we're going to get there. I just don't know how. Because there's just so much in our circular area with all its layers. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I hit you. My bad. My bad. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime and manga. In fact, we had an episode talking about Ascendance of a Bookworm. That's how much we like this story. I'm just saying. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel, reacting to Ascendance of a Bookworm, Season 3, Episode 1, a.k.a. Episode 27. Hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Laters!